Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you want to see next and like the video for more content. Okay guys, today I'm trying this meatloaf with mashed potatoes and gravy whole meal complete meal. Hopefully this is as good as the spaghetti is and we'll go ahead and try it out. Also, I'm trying these brand new uh, barbecue cheese puffs. Never had them, seem a Dollar General, so you know. I'll try them out, you know? So with all that being said, let's pause the video, read the nutrition facts, and get into this review. Let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cheese puffs and I'll do the, the meal thing last. Oh, they smell like really good. Like, look at that. Look like a, you don't know what cheese puffs, but it could be different though. Wow. That's good. That cheese taste with that barbecue. That's good. It tastes like um like those cheddo cheese fries from any capos. These these are really good. That is so good. I would buy this one again. And it only cost one dollar. That's not bad, and that's really good. For the price, you can't beat it, and for the taste, that's recommended. But I'll give you guys my final score of this at the, at the end of the video, so. Let's go ahead and uh, vent this tray for a second. It'll be right back. I just put it out of the microwave. Just gotta hold the entire, entire thing off now. I put out the microwave and then walked away for a little bit. So it's been about three minutes. This is what it looks like. Doesn't really look too bad though. Personally, in my opinion, I think brown gravy tastes a lot better than ketchup on a meatloaf. Stir the potatoes up a little bit. These potatoes are really um, not as soft as regular ones though in different meals, like in the, like in the frozen meals. Let's try for a second. Gotta get the gravy mixed in with it a little bit, so. All right, let's go ahead and try the mashed potatoes first. Mm. I like that. Um, the texture on it is very soft. Uh, it has like a, it's like buttery, buttery with brown gravy on it. That's really good. To me, these taste like somebody like took a potato, they peeled it, cut it, threw it into like a pot of boiling water, and then took like a potato masher and just masked it, and then just took it out and put it into this plate. That's what it tastes like. But with a, but with a hint of butter to it though. That's really good. I'm gonna try the meatloaf now, see what the meatloaf tastes like. I don't see any like uh, any carrots or celery in this meatloaf. This might just be like a like a patty thing or something. That's pretty good. Let me give me a drink for a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Guys, I saved a lot of oil and they didn't have a uh, Sprite or Starry out, so I just got a knockoff brand of uh, Sprite Crisp. It's not too bad. The meatloaf is really good. I love the brown gravy on it. That's really good. I think it's a lot better than ketchup, like I said earlier, but uh, what, what do you guys think, think about it, though? 
for 300 calories that's pe people would say that's a lot of food and everything for 300 calories which uh that i mean i get i mean i guess i can agree with them on that let's try everything thing together That is so good. For something so small, but yet so good. Is it, is it good as the spaghetti one I tried in the last video? It's a lot better. I didn't tell you in the other video though, but that spaghetti one Mainly just tastes like tomato paste, like you make spaghetti though, but you just take a can of tomato paste and just dump it in there with it, with some other seasonings to it, so. It's good, but the rest of the tomato would be like a little bit more like a sauce type base with like marinara sauce in it, that'd probably be a lot better, but. But yeah, this is not a bad meal, this is a good meal. Um, also, it's quick and easy, only one minute, so. If anyone wants to like uh, cut back on instant ramen noodles, or if you're in college or something like that, and this is pretty cheap, is really. I mean, I go with this. I mean, if you don't want to eat all canned foods, you can go with frozen meals, or you can just go with this. Hmm. I love the taste of that. Alrighty, guys. It's time for the final results of what I think about all of this. My final go On the uh, Ho Sticky Sweet Barbecue Cheese Puffs, I give these from 0 out of 20 a 18.9. I love these. Have a, have, a, have a really good taste to it. The barbecue and the cheese taste really mixes well with this. It's really good. The texture on it is very soft. So this is really nice. I love this. And for one dollar, that is not bad. As for the meat loaf and mashed potatoes and gravy, I give this one a sixteen point nine. I like it. It's a lot better than this spaghetti, at least. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Do you guys like meat loaf with ketchup or brown gravy? But. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and let, let, let me know in the comments if you have tried this before, and let me know if you like it. I'd love to read your thoughts on it. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Good God, I hear some first. But wait, before you click off the video, one more thing. I was at Walmart yesterday. Pringles has limited edition flavors. We got the Pringles All Dressed, the Pringles Everything Bagel, and last but not least, the Pringles Carnitas Taco. So hopefully these all taste good. I'll be trying them out in a future video. But yeah, with all that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot. Thank you for the support, the love, the comments, everything. But like I said, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried the whole meal complete with the meat loaf and mashed potatoes and gravy. Let me know if you, if you tried these. Let me know your thoughts on them. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.